What is going on, everybody? I'm Chaka Crypto, and this is the Chakaverse. And I just wanted to put out, I guess you can call it a tutorial, just an intro to Etherscan. If you are not familiar with how to look at your transaction hash on Etherscan or your uh, Ethereum address on Etherscan, I'm just going to run you through it really quick. I just did a Pepe video, so I already have the Pepe chart up. So I'm going to use one of the, I'm going to go off of one of the big, let's go off one of the big cells from Pepe, just for example. So we have the a 22 ETH cell. We'll go ahead and go to the, get the transaction hash. It's right here. So after every Ethereum transaction, ERC20 transaction, um, you're gonna get a transaction hash, which is a bunch of letters and numbers, but that's gonna be your receipt of the transaction that happened. If you go to Etherscan and you put that transaction hash into the search menu, and then it's going to have all the information for that transaction that just happened. See, that's the transaction hash. I put it in the, the search menu right there. Uh, it'll tell you what block and then the timestamp 28 minutes ago, transaction action swapped this much Pepe for this much uh, ETH. Okay, it'll tell you where it's from. This is uh, the, the person's actual Ethereum address and then where it went to. Um, and that's basically it, the value of, of the uh, transaction, the transaction fee, the gas price that was paid, just the information of that transaction. So that is the transaction hash. If you had your own ETH address, and I'm just going to use this person's just for example, your own ETH address, you would put your e uh, Ethereum address inside the, um, the search menu, and then it will have your own Ethereum address if you wanted to look up and inside this you can see your transactions your internal transactions your token transfers and this is only for ERC 20 ERC 20 is Ethereum all right so right off the bat you'll see your transactions you can go back and and double check your transactions to see if they went through your internal transactions but uh, and then your token transfers ERC to token transfers I like to look at my Ethereum wallet every now and then and look at the um, the token transfer, um, the ERC20 token transfers, because you'll see uh, if you have any Ethereum, if you hold any Ethereum or any ERC20 tokens, you will get airdropped some scam tokens in there. And uh, you can go on here and check and see. It, it'll show it, uh, the token, some random poo butt token. And then you'll be like, I never bought that. It's because you got airdropped that token. And in here, you can just see all your uh, ERC-20 uh, token transfers. Um, this is basically just the, this is just the gist of it. Just a quick intro to uh, Etherscan. I'll put out some more videos uh, on other tools that you can use uh, or other ways you can use Etherscan. It's a great tool to get familiar with. I'll leave the link down in the description below, but um, you really don't need the link. After every transaction in your wallet on ERC20 or anything, you're going to get that hash, the transaction hash up. And you usually can just click on that hyperlink. It'll take you right to Etherscan. But I'll, I will put the link to Etherscan in the description down below. But this is just one of many like intro to Etherscan. If you've never used it or you're not familiar with it, that's just a quick part of it. So that's it for today. I'm Chaka Crypto. This is the Chakaverse. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, maybe even that bell notification. That way, every time I put out another video, you'll be notified. And I will see you guys in the metaverse. Peace.